I'm not sure of the age of this one, uh, 90s something. Uh, it's a very unusual one because it's solid. And this is a, a little bit of a walk around from the top. Once we get the Range Rover out, we'll put this and have a look at it underneath. Uh, guy just brought it down for me to have a look at when I got a bit of free time. He says it's got oil leaks. He's got a couple of drips on his on his drive. <laughs> they came. They were like that when they came out of the bloody factory. So um, let's have a look at it from the outside. It is um, a V8 110 canvas top. Um, it, it was noted. He said it was from Bosnia. I'm not sure. Uh, it could be. Couldn't be. But this is what you want. If you're looking for an Land Rover or a project to work on, this is the type of car. The frame on it is lovely. It's no rust. There's a little tiny patch that's been done on the footwell, but really it's worth just cutting out and re-welding and then buffing over because it's really nice. But I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, the tyres have been changed. They're um, BF Goodrich. They look almost identical to the Michelin tyres, but uh, they are starting to crack a bit. Apparently this has been stood a long, long time. Um, so let's take the camera off and have a look around. So it's got some reflectors you can see on the side there. That's for conformity for Quebec uh, to get through inspection, because these don't reflect. I don't know, you have to retrofit things. Um, Lights cracked, bit of a shame about that because I gave a lot of, load of those away this year. New tyre on the bonnet, never been used. Uh, military front bumper, nice. The grill's got a little bit of a crack in it but I suspect that uh, somebody's been trying to force their way in but it's got these catches on anyway so there's no need for that. The bulkhead is superb. Screen rubber's cracking but you see a lot of this screen rubber cracking but they actually don't leak. Looks like it's had another screen in it sometime as well because they've put it in backwards. Um, what else? What else? It's got the typical army paint, but if you can see here, it isn't all that thick. That's nice. Typical ding in the bonnet there because when people get the tyre on and off. What else have we got? S F O R. Nice. The wheels haven't got that much paint on them either. Hubcaps cracked. Um, he said that he's still got the jerry cans in here, but I haven't got time to look for a lock and key. Somebody's retrofitted a, a lock on there. I don't know why, nobody's going to pinch it. Uh, the canvas is really, really nice. I mean, it just looks like it was being put on not so long ago. It has got a bit of mildew on it. It's not too bad. Again, red reflector on the side because they weren't fitted. Um, yeah, I'm quite surprised this hasn't got uh, wool rims on. But you can see the amount of balance weight's been put on there. These rims had an awful problem of buckling around here and they got bent a bit. We can have a quick look at the chassis. Look at that! This is to die for, isn't it? Eh? Look at that! Lovely! Let's have a look at the back. I'm not going to walk the tailgate, but look! Surprise, surprise! It's still got the pick and shovel on there. Those are usually the first things that go missing. Isn't that, isn't that good? Uh, it's had a retrofit um, reversing light on. Uh, and it is a 12 volt system. There's the old military trailer plug. It's got the old pintle type hook on the back. Or, or military overriders. Plastic's not gone. Oh look, it's an Exmo trim. So somebody's replaced this before. That's not an original. I thought it was too good to be true. Oh, looks like somebody's been knitting. Uh, cap missing from the wheel, that's a, from the axle, that's an easy fix. We'll see more of this, like I say, when we're underneath it, but let's have a look inside, seeing it's a sunny day. Look at those doors, look at them lads, look at them. Look at that. That's what you want, isn't it? Just minor rattles, but that's alright. This piece of the dash, beautiful. In fact, you know, it's been spoilt a little bit by somebody <laughs> welding almost, cup holders on. Um, power points. The top dash has got, well, I don't know what's happened there. Looks like it burned. Somebody's put something in it and glued it to the dash and ripped it off. But otherwise it was a, it was a nice dash. It's got, uh, <laughs> what's it on? Kilometres. 
89,000 kilometers. It's next to nothing. All the plastic's nice. It's got a cubby box in. I don't know if that's original, but look at these boxes back here. Look at them. Whoa. They're nice cubby boxes. It's got a sort of a roll cagey type thing in there. Uh, these look like Exmo seats. In fact, yes, they are. Look, they're Exmo seats. So it looks like somebody's retrofitted these. Um, look at that floor. Look at it. Look at the sides. Not beaten up or anything. Really nice. Now, this is the gearbox in here is a, an LT85. Somebody's put the wrong knob on there, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, yeah, that's okay. Looking good. Oh yeah, the, the floor where it's been patched up is here, look. Somebody's put a little patch on there. I bet there's hardly anything under that. But that's uh, trivial. And the seats are sort of a bit of a mix and match. You know, it's got the quilted seats. Is that original? No, that's a sort of aftermarket -y type seats because they're just uh, welded, you know, with heat to put the pleats in there. But it's not too bad, it's pretty good. What else can we see in here? Yeah, a bit of mildew in there. Oh, the <laughs> mirror's held on with tape. That's, that shouldn't pass inspection like that, but we won't say anything about that. Uh, no pedal rubbers on. Now, that's kind of unusual for here in Quebec to pass inspection because they're supposed to have pedal rubbers on. I had the Land Rover fail once because it had a pedal rubber missing off the accelerator and I said, what does it need one for in the accelerator? If your foot comes off, it's going to go slower. Oh, it must. It's mandatory, it's mandatory. Well, OK, so I put one on. I didn't really have one at the time, but I put one off on an MGB and it seemed to work. A uh, little step on there, that's not an original one. Seat base, look at that. Look at the seat bases. Superb. Absolutely superb. It's got the early type of locks on as well. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do Oh, somebody's changed that one as well. Even better. the door shuts. Let me lift the bonnet up and let's have a look at this engine. Instantly you can see that this is not SU carburetors on there. I'm not sure which one it is but it's got an Elderbrock uh, intake manifold and it might be a Holly uh, carburetor. I'm not sure I haven't taken it off yet. Oh, what's the other one? Oh, I don't know, there's an American one. Uh, <laughs> it's also had uh, air, secondary air injection fitted to this and it's been blanked off with a champion spark plug because that's all they're good for. Um, has this got electronic ignition? Yes it has, look, it's got electronic ignition. Very, very, very simple. Just a coil and a little amplifier in there. Tiniest alternator possible. Oh, 1989. That could be a clue. Yeah. Very simple, very spartan. See? Untouched. But lots and lots of potential. It looks like it's had a new radiator in it some time. I don't know why, maybe got some damage. That's maybe why this is missing. Um, what else has it got? I know it hasn't got a choke on it. Which is annoying. Mm, yeah, you can see where this bit's been cut out of the uh, air, secondary air injection. If they'd done a proper job, all they had to do was take these plugs out and plug them up, but oh, nobody's bothered with that. Chassis mounts are good. Ooh, it'll have manual uh, steering on this. Indeed it has. Yep. Can, you see, can you see down here where they've put a secondary ground going from the chassis to the block? That's a good idea. You know, you can do that on your own cars. Because the ground straps on these defenders were <laughs> poor at the best of times. But I would have put something in a bit thicker than that. But that's generally okay. Or else. That's about it really. A lot of potential. We'll, uh, we'll try and start it up. The keys supplied with this vehicle is somewhat confusing. I'm not sure which key is for which. Oh, it's a 1985, it says here. 1985 Land Rover. Hmm, green. That's nice. Anyway, let me find which key it is. That's the one. Um, back 
battery's flat. So, battery's flat. What could that be? Well, I don't know, but I'll tell you what we'll do. Instead of messing about now, we'll cut this video now. I'll get it started later on in the day when a Range Rover's out and we'll get it back in the shop and have a look at it and we'll check one or two things out. Alright, so we'll see you later.